Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Russian Fishing 4 and finally I'm 100% in the marine skill and I'm going to give you guys all the data so I'm going to share with you guys the fish cut, the money for each hour that I made, the total money that I made uh, the expensive that I had because I like videos like that it took me a lot of time because I think uh, yeah, from the start of the Norwegian map, I'm not sure how long we already got at two, three months. But yeah, of course, I didn't play non-stop this game because I played other games too. But I like videos like that. You got all the data and you know what you need to do to, to level up fast. Uh, because you can see it in the data. So we are going to start first with the first part. This part you can just ignore. This is the part from my video that I made, marine skill leveling, the data from 0 to 75. I will put the link under this video, you can watch it, but I'm not going to talk that much about this. I just need to put that in the text file too, because I need to uh, use the numbers for my calculations on the end number. So I need them. Uh, so... You can see here the the amount of time that I took to go to 75, the fish that I caught every hour. Because before 75, it's hard. Because if you guys didn't saw my uh, video about how you can fast level skills in this game, it's not about the quality, it's just about the quantity. The more fish you catch, the faster you will level. Uh, so there is no trick that you can do. You just need to go with bullock and catch as many fish as possible. But that's very hard before level 75 because you don't have access to drop shots. Uh, but of course you need to catch a lot less fish than after 75. Because between 75 and 100% you need to catch a lot of more fish than between 0 and 75%. Another thing that is important for the calculations is... The total currency made. The last time I had a guy that did not understand this. So he said this is not profit. No, it's not profit. But I need to calculate this because the problem is you cannot say this is the profit. Why? Because you always need to buy new equipment. Now that problem is gone. Now I got my end gear and I never need to buy my conventional reel again. I'm going to buy my boat rod now and then I'm done. But... From 0 to 100 you need to buy your starting gear. If you want at 75 you can buy your medium rod. The, you need to buy your conventional reel too. And then at 100% you need to buy your boat rod. So that are all expensive uh, things that you need to buy. But therefore it's hard to say this is profit. You guys can see it at the end because I got an hour. Uh, I got my income for each hour too. At the total from 0 to 100. But I use currency made in this video so what is currency made very simple you catch a fish and you sell them and the cafe orders that's the currency made so that's the total that's not a profit just the total money that i made in this area because i only fished the last three months in the norwegian area always remember that i never throw anything in another area it was always in the Norwegian area. I went three times away. That was to repair my Venga in Aktuba. Or four times. So let's go now to the numbers that matters. So I will show you guys a little bit later in the video. Some cool stuff too. The statics and all that stuff. So here. This is very important. So it's just the same like the first video that I made. So the stats. So for Marine from 75% to 100%. So I started with money 12,000. You can see it here. This is the money that I had when I started at 75%. So... Fish caught, and that's a lot. So I ended at 100% on 12,882 fish. I think if you do the same like I do with premium, I think the most numbers are in this range. So I think it can be a little bit less, it can be a little bit more, but I don't expect people that got 100% marine leveling with premium that they need to catch 20,000 fish. I think... Maybe 14 is possible, but that's the number that you need to catch. Because it's just a number. It's just an amount of fish you need to catch, and then you got that percentage. So if I do it minus 3,179, so that was between 0 and 75, I caught 9,703 fish between 75 and 100 percent. So that's almost three times as much fish that you need to catch than between 0 and 75. 
Then the fish got average every hour. I took 60 wide drop shots. It went higher. It can be a little bit higher, but I took 60 because 60 is very easy. You can easily catch 15 fish every 15 minutes. That's not the problem with drop shots. Uh, so I took 60 an hour. So if you see the time spent, that's 9,703 divided by 60. It's 161 hours or 162 hours with premium to level up from 75 to 100. That's a lot of hours. Uh, so if you put the the 79 here from 0 to 75 with it, you come on what is a 230 hours with premium it will take you. Uh, can you do it faster? I think you can do it faster because after 92, I went with another setup. I made a video about it. I caught a little bit less fish, but I made a little bit more money because I got a variety of a lot of species so I could do a lot of more cafe orders. I went from I think 600, 650 an hour to easily 7 to 900. Sometimes I had days 1000 an hour I made with that setup in the 34 meter hole. So my end money that I got now at the moment is now a little bit less because I went to uh, go to October to check what the mechanism uh, yeah, cost to repair it because I wanted to put it in the data. So I got now uh, cash money in my account 53,000 because that's something that I need to know too. So the money that I spent, I bought Triumph was 70,000, my conventional reel. My boat tickets were 162 because you need to have one boat ticket for every hour. Multiplied 80 is 13,000 currency for only boat tickets. Then I repaired my friction and oil two times too. So that was 4K. So in total, because here I did it one time too. In total, on my Venga, I replaced three times my friction brake and three times my oil. That's not bad. And one time the mechanic. Mechanism. So that was 4,102. So that's decent. Uh, so... To be honest, my repair cost was not that much on my Venga. My Venga, 10,000 that is. So uh, in total, I think I only paid around 10,000, uh, six and four, 10,000 to repair my equipment. That's all. In, uh, in I think, a total income of 175,000 because that's the next step. So you guys can see my total expensive for my second part was 91,000. So that's the money that I paid. I need that to know the exact number. So you guys can see it here. Total money made from zero to 100%. That was 31,000. That's here. So that's from, uh, from zero to 75. Plus 53,000, that's the cash that I got now at the moment, plus 91,000. So I made in total 175,000 currency uh, in Norway. The, the amount of time that I leveled. So if you want to know how much money that I made every hour, and that was for me a surprise, because I always think that I make a lot less money, but it's the cafe orders that make so much money. You don't look at it, but you need to understand that if, you, if I did my happy hour, I had a net, let's say, 650. But then I got always one, two, three cafe orders. Of course, if you play longer than me, because I had days I only did happy hour. Uh, so uh, therefore probably I make a little bit more money because if you play every day five six hours your cafe orders need to reset too but I played when I was playing Diablo 3 for a month I only did happy hour so I always had like uh, three four cafe orders and I think therefore my average currency an hour is a little bit higher but you guys can see it here divided by 79 plus 162 I made 730 currency an hour the entire time that I was leveling marine skill. And that's 230 hours. So that's what the data says. So now I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit uh, the stuff. Because I'm still fishing with my first rod to wear on it. But first I want to say to you guys. What would I do? Because I'm probably going to make an extra video. But it's not hard to level that. It's not the quant quality. It's the quantity. So I would just start... With, with like something that works. The foam rubbers in like the small area. 
I will show you guys that in the game. Wait a second. That's a lot easier, probably. Okay. So what would I do? From 0 to 75, I went with the blue, blue lurker uh, in the 34, 30, or 41. You can go with the, the, the blue lurker. What works really well, too, is the foam rubbers, the maggots. Uh, they work really well. It's only 3,000 fish that you need to catch with premium. And then you're 75. What would I do on 75? Very simple. I got a video about that too. I will post it. You just go with the drop shots. Drop shots and you go with the shrimps. So this is a drop shot. Put shrimps here on. And just start going for the saris, the sardine and all that stuff. That's what I... Because you just get a lot of fish by that way. And you, you will level really fast. What I did, you can do that until the end. That's not a problem. But what I did at 90% that is I went for this setup because I wanted to make a little bit more money you guys already saw that that's I did a combination but you need to have the gummy mac for that so this is a combination that I did so the maggot is very good so I went with a marine lurgy with this you guys can just copy it one gummy mac with a 0 3 one uh, tiny fish because that works really well and another gummy mac this was a really good money maker and I leveled from 92 to 100 percent. So that's a little bit, it's very simple what you need to do. Then another question. Uh, what I did was very boring. I'm going to say that to you guys, it was very boring. I did not do that the entire time because sometimes I went for bigger fish too with my triumph. Uh, but I was limited with 60 kg of line, you're very limited in this area. So would I, if I do it again, would I buy the medium rod? And I would say yes, but there is one major problem that I don't have enough money because the problem is I got now this money, 53,000. So if I bought, for example, the medium rod. So uh, if you go to both rods, and I think a lot of people are using this medium rod, I think. Or this one. Is this the one? No, this is heavy marine one. I'm not sure, but I think a lot of people use this one. This was 30,000. So if you get 30,000 of my 53,000, I cannot buy this one. My heavy boat rod. That was a problem. So always remember that because I know guys, because the medium rods, they take a lot of damage. Uh, I know guys that need to buy the second medium rod because the first one was too damaged. But they play without premium. So the problem is if you play without premium, it will probably take you three, four hundred hours. That's a lot more than, than what I needed to invest. But the problem is you are going to destroy your medium rod. You need to buy another one. And I think that you will get enough money if you hit 100% to get this one. But if you go with premium, you will not have the money. Uh, so that's... If I went with the medium rod, I could not buy now the heavy boat rod. Just saying. For the sanity, it was a lot better that I went with the medium rod, I think. <laughs> so, if I can do it again, I buy a medium rod at 75%. That's something that I want to say to you guys too. Uh, so, another thing, what is really funny to end the video. So, this is my Ocean Queen. I fished from the start with Ocean Queen. And this is the wear that I got. So uh, I didn't have a lot of damage, only 9% on the blank and 24% on the line guides. I only fished with one pilker rod from the start until the end. So you can do it if you watch a little bit what you do, of course. I'm not going with the 180 kilogram uh, line on it, uh, because that's destroying your rod a lot. So what I'm going to do now is this guy, so I'm going to buy my boat rod, this one. 2500 uh, gram of test on it i'm going to put everything on it uh, i got my triumph already i showed you guys it uh, so for the statics for the people that didn't believe my text files so i only fished here with the pilker 12882 and my marine skill leveling is 100 percent thanks for watching guys everything is here what you need to know so i tested it for you guys so if you hear other things, uh, don't believe it. Because here is the data, and data never lies. Thanks for watching, have fun, bye bye.